Okay guys, I want to show you my upgrade of the Synology 1520 NAS here. As you can see, it's grinding away. And uh, what I have in there, or had in there, were two of these in a Synology hybrid RAID. So two of these was giving me a total, u total space of 14 terabytes, of course, if you do that math. So I decided to make this video after I already kind of started the whole thing and but I, I'll catch you up on what's going on here. So I had two uh, 14 terabytes and in the Synology RAID that gave me the 14 terabytes and that's protection obviously. And I'm basically added two more drives. And I'm changing it at the same time I'm adding those drives, I'm changing it to the SHR2. So I get two drives of redundancy. So that's what I'm doing. And let me go back to what's going on here. So what I did here was um, I had two drives and I basically uh, the 1520 is hot swap. So I just put those drives in the trays slid them in there, it powered them up, came into the interface here under storage manager and it's in the process of changing it. Again I started this uh, about 12 hours, 12, 13 hours ago and it's still changing. I imagine it's, it's showing me 17 percent done here so I imagine it's going to take it probably at least three days maybe to get it upgraded. So what's interesting here is that, oh, so what I did was I went, now of course it's grayed out right now because it's it, it's busy working on it, but I went to the action menu and I did not say add drives, I said change RAID type. And I changed it from the SHR to the SHR2. And then it asked me, oh, what drives did you want to add? And I told it both of these drives, drives three and four here. And basically it started doing its thing and that, and this is shows the little spinning wheel here. And uh, this third drive, it took a little bit of time, I don't know, maybe five or ten minutes and it showed it was initializing and setting it up and then it went to normal and healthy. And the fourth drive is just saying initialize, so I'm thinking it's busy converting this to the SHR2, and then when that gets done, I'm guessing that this will be brought in. As you can see here on the drive activity lights, drive four is just stagnant, so it's busy working on those three, and um, again, I'm just guessing that the fourth one will start getting active here once the conversion to SHR2 two is completed. So let's mark the time here. So the time February 1st 5.30 and it again it's already 13 hours into it so I'll I'll continue this video once it's further along. Okay so it's been a total of about two days two and a half days and, and a couple hours and just went to 100%. Let's see what it's doing here. It's still spinning up here. And everything shows normal here. And I just noticed that the fourth drive is kicking in now. So it's getting after something here. So since this has shown me available capacity, I'm assuming it's still working on bringing that last drive in. And when this changes, I'll come back for the video. Oh, okay. I just realized it's showing me the percentage here. So who knows? It could be another couple of days. I'll be watching this number. Wow, look at that. Look at that date. So we are a total of 18 days and four and a half hours later waiting for this last drive to finish up. We are at 99.99%, waiting for the last few seconds to tick away here. Hopefully, hopefully this status will change and we'll see available capacity jump up any second now.
and this is a be, originally began on February 1st so a total of 21 days to bring two drives There it is, 100%, and it still says changing here. And let's see if it actually finishes up or if it's got to go to 100.01. Not quite sure what it's going to do here, how much time this will take. Still waiting for the capacity to jump. Okay, that 100% just went away after about, uh, about maybe two and a half minutes. And there we go. It brought it all in, and there's my new capacity, full health. And again, 21 days for the full process. Pretty amazing.